one morning morning. Okay, how are we going? Thumbs up if you can hear me, Denver, Sarah, Mia. Can't see Mia. Good guys. Oh, there's Mia. No, it's not Mia. That's Nick. Sorry, sorry, Nick. Chase, how are you? Maddie Shacklock, Zave, Kate. Oh, someone put their mic on. And Zave, good on you, mate. Toby, how are we, guys? We're going to get started. Okay, let's get uh, our mobility um, to begin with. So we are on to, we're doing the session, uh, session B as usual, our speed and power session. So uh, you can see, you should be able to see the screen there. It says week five, but it means week four, trust me. Uh, so week, week four there is what we're gonna be doing of the uh, speed and power session. So we're gonna start with mobility. I'm gonna get moving through this pretty quickly. We'll, we'll probably have a few people join in a bit late. That's okay. Um, now they'll, they'll just be able to catch up there hopefully um if you've got any questions you know you can um you know you can turn your microphone on um and, and just ask any questions or you can use the chat potentially so for our for our mobility hopefully everyone can see me okay i've, I've got to keep my ipad on charge today so it's in a bit of a different position so mobility i'm going to use my phone roller but you guys can use the couch or the wall or whatever you may want to use we want about big toe. I'm going to go right foot first. We're down in this one position. I got a big toe about 10 centimeters away from the foam roller. And I'm just bringing my knee in, keeping my heel pressed to the ground, bringing my knee in to touch the foam roller. Again, we'll do about three on either side. That's it. So knees over toes, getting that good range of motion we need through that Achilles and calf. I'm going to swap over to my left, knee, uh, left leg. Again, about 10, five to 10 centimeters back from the foam roller. Heel stays as pressed down as much as I can. I'm pushing that heel back, pushing that heel down, but I'm also bringing my knee across. That's good, guys. Excellent. Okay, that's our that's our calf and Achilles quick mobility there. You guys can do some calf pumps on the wall if you need to, if you need a little bit more of a calf warm up. So if you want to go up against the wall here and you've just got both feet back evenly and you're just bending one knee then the other. So you're just sort of cycling your legs over like so, simulating like a push back into the, uh, as if we're taking off like a sprint takeoff. We're just simulating that there. Otherwise, we're gonna do some hip mobility. So we're into our Spider-Man squat. So again, we bend at the hip. We get a little hamstring stretch to begin with. Nice little hamstring stretch, okay. We wrap our fingers underneath our toes come down into as deep a squat as we can. Doesn't matter too much if, you're, um, if your heels come off the ground here, mine do. Um, preferably you wouldn't, preferably, preferably your heels would stay down, but I can't get that low, but I wanna get nice and deep. I've got my elbows on the insides of my knees here, and I can just, I can add a little pressure there, okay? So I can sort of push against my elbows there, and feel that tense in there. That's gonna help warm up the muscles of my adductors and my inner thigh and just squeeze my arms in, almost like I'm trying to bring my knees together. Then from there, I'm gonna keep my left hand under my left foot, and I'm gonna turn my right arm up to the roof and rotate my upper body as well. Remember to control your breathing here. Couple of breaths, come back, right hand under right foot, and we swap legs, uh, swap hands. So left arm's going up. Then turn and breathe. As you breathe out, you might be able to get a little extra range of motion. Feel that stretching your upper back, your lower back. Okay, come up. Grab your mini band. Hopefully you've got your mini band. If you don't have it, we can still do the exercises. Don't stress too much. So we've got a bit of an overload today. So we're going to go... Um, whew, we're going okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try and get through four sets of everything. We did three last week, okay? But if we get three of everything, I'll be pretty impressed, okay? We'll finish off with some skipping. So, mini bands around your ankles. Same thing again. We've got five, oh, I'm gonna do five, but if you've got room to do 10, you can do 10. Sit down nice and low in your defensive stance, pushing out. Don't let your feet come together. Don't let your knees come together. So I'm gonna go five to my right, five back to my left. Arms nice and wide, active. And then five back to my right again. So I'm getting 10 going right and 10 going left total. Here we go, good job. Good job, okay. Stands off here. 
job bands off. All right, and we're into our acceleration, deceleration once we've done 10, okay? Keep working on your bands. If you've got your bands, if not, take it off. We're into our acceleration, deceleration. So with this, we're gonna do 10, we're gonna do two sets of 10 today. So what I want is five takeoffs in, on your right foot. So if I'm starting with my right foot back here, I'm down in the sprint stance. Remember if my right foot's back, my right arm is up. Because as my, as my left, as my left uh, arm comes through, my right arm comes through. So it's, it's simulating that sprint technique. So I'm gonna start with right foot back, right arm forward. Okay, I'm taking a couple of quick steps and then I'm coming into a pitter patter stop. So I want you to do five on your right foot, five on your left foot. Okay, here we go. So really pushing into the turf or the ground or the carpet, whatever you're working on, working on that sprint technique, stay down nice and low. Remember, be a spear, not a shield. Good job. Get our heart rate up a little bit, get the blood flowing. Good job. Got pitter patter, simulating a close out. Okay, I'm doing five on my left foot now. So I've got left foot back. That means left arm forward. So I'm swinging that right arm active. I'm keeping it active back here, but I'm swinging it through as my left foot comes through. <laughs> Helping me propel myself for that takeoff. <laughs> Good, you can throw your arms up if you want, like a close out. Get that good technique going with that close out technique. Good work, guys. If you've done your first set at five on each leg, have a breather, have a drink. Always take a rest. 20, 30 seconds rest. Oh my. Maybe Chase, Dave, Ken, Zach, Cody. Girl, Cody, haven't changed your name today. That's all right, there's no other Cody's at home. Good job, guys, let's keep working. Okay, so we've got another set of those acceleration, decelerations. If you've already started that second set, great, five on each leg for that second set. I'm gonna watch you guys. Good job, Sarah. Perfect. Watch out for that dog. Good job. Good, Maddie. So stay low, Matt. Get that, get that sprint start, Maddie. So really important we get that acceleration, that down low to start. Maddie, slow down, Maddie Shacklock. Slow down. Come back to that sprint technique to start. Get down into a low position. No, no, no. Come back. Come back, Matt. I'm going to have to listen to me. Yep. Now get down in position. No, no, no. Now you check what? Here. Here. Start low. Okay, you're like this. You're just doing this. Okay, we want sprint technique. So get here. So if your right if your right leg's back, right arm forward. Start low. Okay, start nice and low and push. Push off. Okay, let's not cheat the drill. That's it. Good. Swing that arm through and back. Let's make them all count, okay? All we got to work on here is technique. Okay, we don't need to rush through these things. All right, second exercise. Once you guys have finished your second set is a, is a drop landing, drop landing. We're gonna try and get through four sets of five. Okay, drop landing. So remember what that looks like again. We're up on our toes. We're all the way up on our toes with our arms up nice and high. We swing our arms through as we sort of bring our knees up and we just replant our feet and come to that nice solid landing. So again, what that looks like here, I'm up on my toes and I swing my arms through and I get down into a nice squat position there. All right, four sets of five. I'll do one full set, I've done two reps and then I'm coming around to see you guys, make sure you're doing it properly. Up on our toes, swing your arms through and back, come to that full, full landing position. So again, you should hear a little sound, okay, as you touch the ground, as you come down, you should hear just a little gentle thud, okay, because we're not just going from here up on our toes 
and swing back into our heels. We are actually going to bring our feet just gently off the ground slightly as we reset our feet. So we're stimulating that landing by throwing our arms down and back. We're, we're providing that acceleration that's pretty similar to when we do a landing. Good, Sarah. Good job. Then you're doing your broad jump already, mate. Yep, Sammy, how are you going? Good. I'm okay outside. It's a little wet, but um, I can still do the skipping. So, yeah. If it's too wet, mate, don't risk it. You can do it inside as well. Don't forget uh, you can uh, do it inside. It's really not that wet, no. It's all right? Okay. So try and get a see. Oh, you're going pretty well for time. Take a breather, but see if you can get eight sets of a minute. It's going to be a fair bit of skipping. Yeah. Go for okay. a minute, go for eight sets. Okay, cool. I'll do that. All right. Everyone else, we're still on our, our, in our landing, our drop landing. Except for Denver, Denver's doing broad jump. What are you up to, Denver? You start at 6.30 or something. Mate. <laughs> All good. All right, drop landing. So we're doing four sets of these, okay? So you guys should be have a, re have a rest. You should be on to your second set now. So Denver, just so you're aware, we're doing these ones. We're just going to... We're just in a drop landing, mate. We're not quite into our broad jump just yet. We're going to do our, our box, our squat jump. Then we're into our broad jump. So remember our squat jump, we go up. Broad jump, we go across. So four sets of these. Okay, so there's a bit of work in today's session, but we've got a break next week. So work hard today. Work hard in all your sets. Oh, we should be working hard in every session. But especially this week. This is a little bit of an overload week. I'm going to taper off next week. Okay, good, good. You think that's really good. Good arm swing, perfect. That drop landing. All right, how are we going here, the rest of the crew? Jay, good. Up on your toes, good. Swing through and back, stick that landing. So come on, nice, that's better, good. How are you going there, Zach? Hands in pockets, good. Good job, Cody. Cody's got the box drop landing, I love it. Good job. Love it. Off the bench press. Good job, good job, easy, good swing through, perfect. Good work, guys, keep working. Okay, so if you're still doing your drop landing, that's fine, that's just a really good technique landing drill. Now we're gonna move on to our box jump, or if, we don't, if you don't have a box, if you don't have something to step off into your landing, we're just gonna do a squat jump, okay, and work on that landing. So again, we're building on the last drill, which was our um, which is our drop landing, where we're not actually leaving the ground. Now we're working on actually swinging our arms through and taking off as high as we can, and we're working on that landing and coming to that solid landing. So we're gonna go four sets of five. I'll do the first set with you. So again, we start with our arms up, we swing through and back, take off, and then swing through and land. Okay, that's one, we're doing five. So swing through and then land. Try and stick that landing and stick back into your hips. Use the muscles of your hips, those big muscles. Swing through and stick that landing. Take off as high as you possibly can. Last one for me. Stick that landing. Shift your weight from the ball of your feet back into your heels. We've got four sets of these. Good job, Maddie. job. Is that Amelia I can see on the, on the big map screen? Good job. Load up. Good, good girl. Good landing. Are you wearing the same shirt? I can't tell which one's which. Confusing. Good job, guys. Keep working. I'm seeing Nick in the background. You know, so on the couch. Good job, Nick. Keep working, guys. Good job, Sarah. Hey, Jared. Yep. I'm, I'm doing one minute on, one minute off, so I might not have time to do eight. I might yeah, only right. have time. Oh, I did all right, yeah. Yeah, just get as many as you can, mate. Eight's pretty ambitious, so just yeah. as long as you're getting your heart rate up a little bit to finish off, that's good. Cool. Good job, Sam. Um, Jared? Yep? How many rounds are we doing? We're going to try and get four in, Cody. So see if we can get four of these box, uh, squat jumps. And then we're going to move on to our broad jump. If we get three, I'd be pretty happy. What are we up to? Quarter past eight, so... If we get four of these, four broad jumps, we can do, then we're, then we're pretty right. We've got three sets and then we'll finish off with some skipping. So see if you can get four sets. 
Right. Good job. Good job, guys. Keeping an eye on everyone. Good, Denver. Explode up, mate. Really swing those arms through as if you're trying to reach the roof. That's better. Good job. Good job, Evie. Excellent. Good job, Cade. Can't see Kobe today. He's embarrassed from last week and Cade did push up better than him, so he doesn't want his camera on, I'm assuming. <laughs> Good job, Cade. Really swing those arms through. We're not stepping into that jump just yet, Cade. Just, just start where you are, arms up. Swing them right through and back, and then explode up and just stick that with you. Big Cam. Keep working. Good job. Good, Cody. That's perfect landing. That box jump, Cody, when you're taking off the bench, you don't have to jump off the bench. Like, it's, it's good that you are, but you're just putting, your, you're putting yourself under a fair bit of stress there. You can just step off. So you just sort of go, whoop, and just step off into that landing. Yeah. Yeah, so don't jump because then you're doing a double jump. You're just, you're just doubling up the exercise. If you jump off the box and then you're jumping again into a jump, there's just too much room for error. So I, I would just step off and then go straight into that jump like you were. Yeah, That's really okay. Good. All right, guys, hopefully we're nearly through our box jumps or our, our, our squat jumps. Keep working if you're still doing them. We want four sets of five with about 30 seconds break in between. Next, we've got our broad jump. So we're going to move through this because I want to be finish our broad jump as close to 20 past as possible. So our broad jump technique is very, very similar to our, uh, our squat jump. Again, we start our arms up nice and high. We swing them through and back and we're trying to explode out horizontally, okay? We're trying to take off across the room now. So be careful if you're on a slippery surface because going horizontal here, you could easily Lip if you're on wood floors or, or tiles. So it's really important now we're into that fourth week. I want to see you guys really try and take off here. Okay, the beauty of these power exercises is, is they're limitless. You know, we're not, we're not doing, um, we're, not, we're not necessarily lifting a weight of eight kilos or four kilos or working with a resistance band. We're purely just working against ourselves. And even a centimeter improvement each time is massive. That's huge, okay? Even a millimeter each time is massive. So that's why working on these things now while we're in isolation, focusing on the technique and really trying to float out as far as we can, it's going to put us in a really, really good position for when we're back in the stadium. So we've got four sets of five of these broad jumps. Work your way through those. I'm going to have a look at your technique. Good, Denver. Awesome, mate. All that practice you did before has really helped. <laughs> You started with the broad jump. Must be Denver's favourite exercise. That was good, mate. You landed on your toes, but that's okay. I don't mind it because you're pushing yourself. I'd prefer to see you guys in week four really push yourself on this broad jump and actually stuff up a couple of landings. That's fine. You're going to put yourself in situations to improve. So I'd prefer to see you stuff up a couple of landings because you're in a safe place here. Yeah? We're very unlikely we're going to take off and hurt ourselves. So really push yourself to explode in that takeoff. And, improve, and that's going to help you improve that power base. All right, how are we going here? Good, Zach. Here we go, Chase. Take off, mate. Give yourself as much room as you possibly can, Chase. Good, Maddie. Perfect, Matt. Good job. Swing up and through. That's it. And explode. Good job, mate. Perfect. Good landing. Remember, Zach, we're not, we're not stepping into the jump, Zach. So it's not a one-two jump. We're just starting from a stationary start. We're swinging our arms up, through, and back. And then we're taking off. Job, Sarah. Good. Good landing. So you're not going to land that low as you did just there in a the game, but that's okay. You're putting yourself in a position to improve. We're over-exaggerating that landing. No, that's fine. The way you landed before was good. Take off and go as far as you can this week. Okay, this is an overload week. We want to challenge ourselves a little bit. Grab a drink in between sets. You've got 30 seconds. Trust you guys to manage your own rest period. Okay, that's going to be something you guys are going to have to get used to as you, as you progress through your strength and conditioning programs and different programs. If, if you want to use your phone or, or whatever you've got, if you've got a watch, a smart watch or something, monitor your rest period. Just get your heart rate down. 30 seconds is probably enough. We ideally would have a bit more, but we're pretty strapped for time. And we're pushing ourselves to try and get all these exercises in 30 minutes, but that's okay. Good job, Sammy. See you there. Keep working, mate. All 
that. So that's broad jumps. We're working through those. We should be up to step three or four now. I can see all of you have had at least one or two breaks. So keep working through those really good. And then the next one is our skater jump. That's it, Matty. Really take off that hardwood floor. I'm a bit scared for you, but it looks like, it looks like you've got your basketball shoes on, so you should be right. Good lad. Good, Nick. Good. Good. I don't mind if you fall forward on a couple of those landings. You can always improve. Good job, Zach. Have a drink if you finish. Guys, you finished. Our next one is our skater jump. So our second last exercise. We're making really good time. If you're still doing your board jumps, just keep working. That's okay. The only instruction I have for our skater jumps, we've got three sets of 12, so that's going to be six on each leg. Six on each leg. Good job, Cody. All right, so with our skater jumps, all I want is the first set is a stick landing. So we're sticking the landing. We're not bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Okay, so some of you have gotten a bit confused with that. So really hone in on this. So the first set, I'm doing six from my left to my right, and I'm sticking the landing like that. So we're working on stability rather than explosiveness, so to speak. Okay, so I'm going six from my left foot to my right foot. See how I walk all the way back to my left foot. I just shuffle back. I'm gonna push off again. Okay, you can still explode off this left leg and try and get as laterally as far laterally as you can and push off and stick that landing and see how I land in that sprint technique again. Okay, so I'm on my right leg. So I've got my, my left arm forward here and I land like that to get nice and balanced. All right, so if I do one from the side here so you can see how I land, if I jump towards the camera, I'm pushing off and I'm landing here. Okay, that's not great. My back needs to be a bit straighter. Okay, but I'm down and I've got that soft knee, okay? The other thing I see with you guys a little bit is we land like this, just like that. And yeah, okay, I didn't fall over, that's fine. But <laughs> if I've got that knee locked out, okay, all that sound that's coming from the ground up, imagine that just going through my knees and my hips. We need, that mus we need those muscles, those big muscles to, to absorb that impact. So first set, six on each leg with a landing. Stick the landing, so you push off, stick. And then the second and third set, we can go into constant movement. Boom, boom, boom. Working a little bit more on that explosion off the ground. Here we go. You done, Sam? Yep, I gotta go. Legend, good on you, mate. Have a good day. Thanks, Joe. So we're gonna have a rest next week. No session yep. next Monday. Okay. So we have a week off next week and then we're gonna reload the week after, mate. Cool, thanks, Joe. Good see job, you keep working hard. I'll see you soon. See ya. All right, guys. So we're into our lateral, we're into our skater jump. We've got about five minutes to go. Let's keep working. So we've got three sets of these. Really good. Really good. So stick that landing. Good chase. Bend that knee when you land. Stick that landing, bend that knee. So the same way you start is the same way you should finish on the opposite leg. So Maddie, remember first set, we're not doing take off, take off, take off. We're sticking the landing. If you're on your second set, that's okay. Zach, bend your knees, mate. Land with a, a soft knee. That's good, Cody. Technique's perfect. Good job. Cody, you could just about run this session, I reckon. You might have to coach the next one. Good job. Technique's perfect. Good job, Evie. Take off, stick the landing. Really good. Good job, Denver. Good, Sarah. So we're bouncing from side to side now. If you're into your second set, so we're doing 12 total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If you're still doing the stick landing, so your first set should be landing and working on sticking that landing and that balance. It's one, and then it's one on each leg. So you're doing all your left leg first, right leg second. Keep working here, guys. We've got three sets of these, and then we're into our skipping to finish off. I wanna try and get at least three sets of skipping again. But we've got a fair bit done today. We got through four sets of all the other exercises. So that was terrific work. So again, without skipping, some of you may be outdoors and can use a rope. Some of you may be uh, like me and indoors and are just gonna use a line or, or a marker. What have we got there? I'm not gonna chuck away. Done, done, done. That finished. Good job, Zach. Gotta work on that technique, Zach. Gotta work on that, stick that landing. Stick that landing. 
take your time on that first set. That landing stuff is really important, guys. I know I, I overemphasize it, but a basketball or court sport athlete's ability to jump and land on one leg um, with stability is so, so, so important. So I know it's boring. It's not as fun as just jumping from side to side, but there's a reason why we do it. All right, guys. So if we're through our three sets of those skated jumps, which it looks like most of us are. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone's sitting waiting. Good job. Okay, so we're into our skipping. I want three sets of 60 seconds. I've got the timer on here. Okay, I want three sets of 60 seconds. If you've got um, a skipping rope and you can do it if you're outdoors, indoors, whatever you like, don't do it indoors if, you've, uh, if there's going to be things in the way. All right, be careful with that. I'm doing ours. I'm doing mine here using this just this yoga strap as a line. Okay, I'm just going to do line hop across, but you can just do you can just do little like pogo hops. It's pretty similar to skipping. Okay, we're going to do that for 60 seconds, so we're building up that muscular conditioning again in our calves and our Achilles. I'm going to do line hops across, then I'm going to do forward and back, and then I'm probably just going to finish with pogo hops for my three sets. Okay, everyone ready to go? Three, two, one. Here we go. I'm going across. Again, I'm staying on the ball of my feet. Balls of my feet. I'm not letting my heel hit the ground. And again, I'm working on that rate of force development. So I'm trying to explode off the ground. So try and make sure you're not staying on the ground too long. That's the beauty of skipping. Here we go. Good job. Keep working. Good work. That's 30 seconds down. Halfway for that first one. Here we go. Again, ball to your feet. Work on picturing your foot and your ankle and your Achilles, absorbing that impact and exploding off the ground. 10 seconds to go. Here we go. Got our heart rate up now. Get me and up and I'm pucking. Here we go. Three, two, one, good job. Woo. Calves and Achilles, quick breather. Let's have a drink. We're into our second set in about whew, maybe 20 seconds, not too long. Really good job today, guys. We, I know we, uh, you probably didn't rest as long as you should, but we pushed through all those sets really well. So I'm going forward and back now. You guys do what you like. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. So I'm forward and back over my, over my strap. Again, just changing, changing the angles for my ankles and my feet. So again, this is a little bit more like a, almost like a deceleration, acceleration point. Because I go from my, my knees over my toes to my knees behind my toes, which you can see there. So when I'm back behind the strap, like that, it's a little bit like a sprint takeoff. And when I go over the strap, a little bit more like a deceleration, where I'm trying to keep my weight back to be able to push off back over the line. Here we go, we've got 15 seconds. Keep working. Stay on your toes. On your toes. Calves are starting to burn a little bit, that's okay. Five seconds. Three. Two, one. Whew. Good job. One set to go. 30 seconds rest. Grab a drink. I need it. Done with the strap. Good job, guys. Keep working. We're going again in 15. Beautiful day outside, guys. If you get a break from school, make sure you get out and get some shots up. Play some one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, five seconds. I'm just going the pogo hop here. Three. Two, one, here we go. Pogo hops. Again, rate of force development. We're trying to explode off the carpet here. Heels, heels not touching the ground. Midfoot's not touching the ground. All balls on my feet. Side on, you can see. Heels not coming anywhere near it. Strengthening those muscles under my feet. Strengthening my calves, my Achilles. 30 seconds down, let's work now. Here we go. Here we go. Nearly there. 
Get a bit quicker if you can. You've got a little bit left in the tank. It's a bit easier with the skipping rope to go quicker, but that's okay. Keep working 15 seconds. Get your heart rate up. Do a quick cool down to finish off. Here we go, 10 seconds. Push through. Three, two, one. Oh, good job, guys. Excellent work. Grab your roller if you've got it. If not, that's okay. We can just do our stretching. Okay, main, main muscles, I want you to worry about stretching are your glutes um, and your calves. I'm gonna start with a foam roll on my glutes. If you don't have the roller or you're not doing the rolling, that's okay. The movement is pretty similar. The stretch is pretty similar to the foam roll. I've got school. You got school, off you go. Denver, all good. Thank if you. you got school and you gotta go, guys, take off, no problem. No problem at all. Those that are sticking around, thanks. Thanks, guys. If you've got to go, give us a wave or shoot us a message. Have a great day. Like I said, take advantage of this sun. Get outside, get some vitamin D, play some one on one, whatever you can. Little brother, little sister, play against your dog. Doesn't matter. Cross them up, <laughs> get some work in, get a basketball in your hand or whatever. Get outside and play some soccer play some tennis, play whatever you can in your backyard. Just just move around and compete. Okay, so we've got, I've got my right knee, up, uh, right ankle up on my left knee here. This can also be moved. If you don't have a foam roll, you can also just move this into that stretch. That pretzel stretch, how our hand comes through. I'm on my left glute here. But left ankle up on right knee. And I'm going back and forth. I'm just leaning, I have to lean into this a little bit. Some of you guys might be able to do this a bit more upright. But I find I have to come over to my left side a little bit to really get that glute. So each to their own, everyone's anatomy is different. I just find this stretch a little bit better. If I get, if I really sort of bend that left elbow and get down nice and low to get into that glute. I'm going to do ITB quickly. So down the side of my, down the side of my upper leg here, I just find that's an area of some tightness for me. So again, you can stack your feet on top of each other. You can roll your leg over like that if it's a little bit too much. And you want to go all the way from your knee up, up to your hip. So all the way from your knee up to just before your hip bone. But try not to roll on bone. Because depending on how hard your bone roll is, you've got to be pretty uncomfortable. Three or four rolls back and forth again. Control your breathing. Really important to come back to our breathing now. So big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Slow that heart rate down. We're into our cool down. I'm going to my left, left thigh. You guys can move onto your calves if you want. Perfect calves. You can do both legs at the same time depending on the size of your roller. I'm going to do one leg at a time. I like to get a little bit more resistance, a little bit more weight, so I stack my feet on top of each other. I'm going to stack my legs on top of each other and roll back and forth down that calf. Remember, I mentioned in the last um, the last activity that we did, last session, um, last term, but remember to, in foam rolling, don't always just go back and forth down the muscle. Remember to rotate side to side. Remember, you can rotate side to side. That causes some Extra, extra sort of friction in the muscle there and it can help get the blood moving. That can be really good for muscles like the calves and the hamstrings. I'll try and get some tension out there. Oh. So I go sort of back and forth for two or three, all the way down to, to my Achilles. Make sure I get some love on the top of my Achilles there, just around that, that top attachment. And then I'll go side to side. So I'll rotate side to side like that. So I just sort of shift, swivel my hips a little bit. Swivel, swivel on the top of my calf. Then I'll move down. Swivel across again down the bottom there, a little bit close to my Achilles. Just get that cross section or sort of section down there. Alrighty. Jump up. If you've got some stretches, just do a quick, probably just do a quick calf stretch again against the wall. We just hold it a little bit more stationary this time. So probably five seconds, pushing the wall over again. I've got my right heel off the ground and I'm pushing back. I'm in that sprinter position, stretching that calf and Achilles out. Five seconds on either leg. We don't want to hold static stretches too long. 
You can do this two or three times if you want. Come up. Feeling pretty good. If you want to do another stretch, if you feel like you want to stretch out your hammies and your hips, I'm going to go with a nice wide stance like this. Okay, really, really wide. My legs are straight and I'm just going to come down with my hands in between my legs. You might not be able to reach the ground, that's okay. Try and keep your back as straight as possible here. So see how my back's nice and straight. Try and get your hands to the ground. And I'm just sort of shifting my hips from side to side here a little bit. So I've got my hands on the ground, so I'm feeling that stretch of my hammy, okay? But watching from the front here, I'm also sort of shifting my hips. So I'm just going a gentle bend in even knee. And I'm just getting that, like I'm stretching my groins and my hips, hip muscles out a little bit, which is helping stretch out my lower back. Now I can just walk my feet back in together. All right, and we're done, guys. Excellent work today. Really good session. Right on about 35 minutes. So we made good time. Hopefully you guys have got time to still have some breakfast and get to school for today. So as I mentioned to Sam, we're not going to be doing next week's session. We're going to give it a week break. We've done four weeks. This is our fourth week. So next week, we, there will be no session in the morning, and then we'll start up again the week after. Okay, so I believe... Next week will be the 17th, Monday the 17th, there won't be a session. Uh, and that's the same for all the sessions for that week for the Blues from Home. So there won't be heat, spirit and, and those things. But then the week after, we'll kick up again. So on Sunday the 23rd, we go again for another four weeks. So we're going to make a few changes to the schedule. We're going to add some things in. We might take some things out based on feedback from parents. But this is our last get up and go until two, two Mondays time. Okay. So great work, guys. Um, Hopefully see you in a couple of the other sessions, see you in my session Thursday, hoop sit on Wednesday, train with me Friday, the class is in session tomorrow night is with Scott Christensen, our boys coordinator. So that's gonna be a really um, informative one if you wanna tune into that. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys soon, have a great day. Get outside, enjoy the sunshine, it's a beautiful day. Thanks, see you Darren. guys, see you later. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Darren. No, Thanks, Darren. No, good job. Good job, Maddie. Good job, Dave. Got paid. See you later, guys. Thanks, Jared. No worries. See you, mate. See you, Dave. See you later. See you, Dan, if you're listening in. Good on you, guys.